Hi and welcome back to my channel. What you see in front of you is a new diamond painting. And there it is. Let's try to focus on that for a second. It's not in Castle. It's not coming out clear on my laptop, but I'm about to unbox it and hopefully you'll be able to see as much of the canvas as possible so that you can get an idea of what this is. This is a Diamond Art Club painting. You see that it has the blue line, so that tells us it's a square. This is a 98 by 70 centimeter square diamond painting. Um, I have several new ones. I think I have uh, two, four, six, eight, about 11 new ones, plus a couple of other videos I have not yet uploaded. So you're going to see at least a dozen videos from me over the next few days so some of my packages I've taken the plastic off but this one I haven't so let's do that now and no I did not bring my I actually took my scissors in my bedroom because I was kidding in my bedroom so I don't have scissors so I'm just using a pen to try to open that plastic now this is going to be the first diamond painting i believe of this size that i'm going to try to open on this table i thought of moving my camera to my tripod to my living room and opening up on my coffee table or even going to my bedroom and opening it up on my bed so i don't know what is going to be the best method and I'm off screen so that as I pull it out of the box, I don't hit the camera. So there we go. So let's, that's the diamond painting. And let's dump this out. And the box is now empty. We're going to shoot for, okay, we've got a clear image this time. There we go, Mountain Castle. And now let me turn it the right way. There you go, right there. Look at that beautiful, beautiful castle. It's a diamond art club. It's a square. Again, it's a 98 by 70 centimeter. So you have that sticker with the legend. It comes with 56 colors, including, mo uh, actually, I don't see any AB symbols. So it comes with 56 regular drills. Um, this is a bigger sticker and a smaller sticker that you can use when you put it on the packaging. And I'll show you what I'm going to do with the sticker. I'm going to do things a wee, just a little bit differently than I usually do. So with that in mind, I'm grabbing something while I'm talking to you, while I'm knocking other things over. Here you see a diamond painting toolkit. A toolkit comes and probably 98% of every single diamond painting, if not 100% of diamond paintings, always include a complete toolkit, which will be everything you need to start diamond painting. This includes some baggies. Of course, there's never enough baggies for a full kit, but every diamond painting includes baggies. It includes a standard drill pen, hopefully I'm staying in frame, two things of wax, a beautiful shot pair of tweezers with a protecting protective cover a squishy thing for the pen but I don't use these a boat which I also don't use and it looks like it just has one a three multi placer some of the diamond paintings I get have two but I unless I dropped it on a table which I don't think I did it just has that one so let me put everything back in the bag so that when I slide it off screen, everything is self-contained. So that's what I'm trying to do now. I am a very, very, very organized person, so I kind of do things in strict order. So for starters, I'm, I'm going to put this kit in here, although I may move all my kits that I'm not going to use somewhere else. I usually label this with my labeler, but I realize I'm not really using these stickers here. So I'm going to stick it right here on that. And this is going to hold my drills in any miscellaneous things, which will include this. I, I stick all of my diamond paintings in these mesh bags, every single one of them. 
this in the mesh bag. And so that I just put that to the side. Let's figure out where this plastic opens and get this started. I'm about to go out. Uh, my daughter and grandchildren moved out. She got back together with her fiance and they bought they got a new apartment. So they moved out last night and she already needs my help. So I will be going over there early this afternoon to be there while her and her fiance can finish uh, doing things. You know how when you move you have to put things back together. Okay, so you have Mountain Castle bag number one. Oh, okay. I I don't know what why this says A B, but we'll find out in a minute. In Mountain Castle bag number two. So we move those just for one moment because this unfolded so well. I am going to stand up and get that corner on that side. And I'm going to raise my camera and try to let you see this whole diamond painting. Sorry for moving the camera the way that I did, but I just want to, there you go. You get to see most of it. There you go. I'm sorry for the glare, but it's a bright sunny day outside. I kept the blinds closed so that I wouldn't have glare, but the plastic creates a glare. A gorgeous, gorgeous diamond painting. I think I've already said the tw size twice, which I believe is a nine, yeah, 98 by 70. Um, my current one, I believe, is an 80 by 60. At this point, I think I have five or six 98 by 70s. So I have not yet done a diamond painting of this size, but there is a winter along that started, I believe, excuse me for hitting the camera, started December 1st. So when I get back from going to my daughter's house, I will be kidding this up putting my other two diamond paintings to the side long enough to kit this up and I will be working concurrently. I'm working on Chuck Pinson's Seaside Dreams and I'm working on 5D Designs uh, uh, Peacock, White Peacock and I, I have no problems multitasking at all so I will be starting on this one. I will be kitting it up today but most likely not starting on it until tomorrow. So I'm going to turn it over for a moment and we're going to take a look at the drills. If you hear my phone rings, it just means that my future son-in-law is either on his way or outside. So I'm just going to stay on video as long as possible. So let's bring the camera back down. Um, I'm going to start with bag number one. So I'll stay on camera as long as possible to try to get this unboxing done and if he hasn't come by the time I finish with this one I will unbox at least one more because like I said I have well over a dozen to do. I mean I have a lot. Um, and I have more diamond pins coming. Actually I have one coming today. Okay, sorry for all that noise. As a matter of fact, since the plastic makes so much noise, let's get this one open too. And that way, you only get to hear the plastic once during this, instead of... Instead of me showing you some of the drills and then moving the plastic again. So let's get these drill, these bags out the way. So that's the plastic. This is number two, so I'm moving it to the right, and this is number one. And let's see if they're all connected. Okay, they're not all connected, so let's just get started. I like to call out my drills. Everybody does things differently, but I call out my drills so that you can see how gorgeous they are. And I'm just looking back. My, my camera is, excuse me, my laptop is behind me, so I will look back occasionally to make sure I stay in frame. And like, for example, right now, I see that maybe for the most of this video, you had the wire there. So let's get rid of that wire. I apologize. So, 312. Let's see. You've got two bags of 312. you got 803, 898, 779. Two of those beautiful browns. I love browns. 
3865 it's kind of like an off-white I've I, I have 3865 in almost every diamond painting that I've done until now that it has the DMC gold drills I should say 3861 322 uh, three times one two and three 3755 three times one two and three 742 300 743 775 twice that's the first part of the first bag so off camera what i'm going to do is fold this bag and i'm not going to put them in the packaging they came in i'm going to put them in here these bags that i make okay let's get started on these babies you got 893 I'm sorry, hit the camera. Um, 347, 208, 815, 892, 3837, 3801, 327, 814, 550, 951. I think I said there's 56 or 59 colors, so a lot of colors here. 905. 133, 321, 648, 666, 895. I wonder why they, they should not have made that 666, but that's just me. 904, 647, and 823. So these go in my mesh bag. And then we look at, this was labeled number two, but for the sake of limiting the amount of plastic noise, we pull those out. So we're just going to go right through these, and that's 775, 3371, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, and 4, 3841 twice, 938 three times, 1, 2, and 3, 402, 3860, 400, 334 twice, and 890. This bag, oops, I'm hitting my camera again. This bag is going to be over. Oh, wow, beautiful. Um, in the beginning of this, hitting the camera, I think I've hit it four times. Here we go. 939, 783, 640. 3776, 945. It's a lot of glare because it's a nice sunny day. 445, 132, 844, 38, 3787, 9, 9, I think I could read numbers, right? Only two, three tens here. Okay, one diamond painting that I will be starting soon has four bags of three tens and two bags of um, a B three tenths. So only two bags of three tenths here. Three oh one twice. Thirty eight fifty six. Two bags of thirty three twenty five. Getting near the end, which is seven eighty two, and then thirty seven fifty six twice. Those are all the beautiful drills. So now, folks, make up mountain castle. So. It's in here, nice and neat. We're going to put it back on its correct side. I'll give you guys one more look at this gorgeous winter diamond painting. I like the embellishments at the bottom. You've got the beautiful clock, which you can't see. So there we go. you got the clock there. You've got a quill with some paper and some books, some binoculars, and other things on this painting with a castle in the back, which you can't see that one. There's because it's not a castle. And then you have the, uh, actually the whole thing is a castle, but I have so much glare, I thought it was two separate things. And then you have the front of it. And then, so what you're doing is you're looking out a window at the mountain castle, which is why you get to see these beautiful trees and you get to see the mountains behind it. So this beautiful diamond art club painting, um, 
I'm not fully sure who has the diamond painting along for this, but I will find out before I upload this video and I will link it in the description below so that if you have anything Christmas themed or winter themed, you can join in on it. So I want to thank you for your time and I will be back with more, a lot more. Bye-bye.